So I bumped him, and he groaned back in answer. Oh no, no, that prophecy years ago. It all comes home to me, with a vengeance now. We once had a prophet here, a great tall man. Thomas, Irene's son, master of reading science, who grew all his experience among his vast cyclones. Uh, all this, you warn me, it will all come past someday. That we might take here by the hands of one of these years. But I always look for a handsome giant man who will cross my path. I find him climbing power with an armor plate. But now, look, what a dark, a spineless good for nothing. It stuns me with wine and gouges out my eye. Death Pete, tell your choice to try to save foot in his fatherland once more. But a watchman saw him too, from a lookout high above. A spy that Penny Agatha was stationed there, luring the man with two gold bars in payment. One whole year he watched, so the great king could not get past unseen. His fighting power intact for self defense. The spy ran the news to his master's halls, and against this, who that is still in track? Picking the twenty best recruits from town, he packed them in ambush at one end of the house, and at the other, he ordered the banquet. Dressed and spread, he went to welcome the conquering hero Agamemnon. With Sheen and Sherry and Amaya, a swarm of evil. Up from the shore, he led the king, he ushered him in. Suspecting nothing of all his coming doom, they feasted him well, and then cut him down, as a man cuts down some, some ox the drop. Not one of your brothers, men, brought us left alive. None of the gifts either. All killed in the palace. 